everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video we are gonna do a Marshalls slash home goods haul I feel like most of the stuff is actually from Marshalls but it was one of those stores that the two of them are together so it's gonna be a mix I guess of both of them so if you want to see what I got and keep on watching I'm gonna try on some stuff and share just whatever else I got as well let's get started and make sure to subscribe here's our first bag some of this is actually my mom's as well, so I have to go through and see what's mine and what's hers. But yeah, we got two bags of stuff. I don't know. I just wanted to go on a shopping spree. I don't have a Marshalls near me either, so you know, when I go to Marshalls, I gotta take it all in. First thing, this is I think technically a home goods item, and these are Stitch Halloween bag clips. I try to get these every time that there is a season with Stitch. I have. Easter ones and Christmas ones. I feel like I had Halloween at one point, but I don't know what happened to them. I'm going to be 100% honest. These are not good quality. These things break so easily, but I'm like, it's Stitch, and I guess I'm willing to just deal with it. This is a six-pack for $5. thought they were so cute, though. Okay, and then I got two sets of underwear. They're both from Calvin Klein. So normally I do wear like thongs and v-strings, but I don't know anymore going to bed. I really like to be comfortable and I don't care if you guys are going to call them granny panties or whatever. We're just normal non-thong underwear. This is for the girls for a second. If you know, you know. Sometimes wearing a thong all day, it's just a satisfying feeling showering and then just putting on some comfy underwear. These ones are so cute though. They actually had a matching bra with these. And this is a three pack of bikinis so you have the printed one and then kind of like a nudie color and then black and these were $14.99 and then these are boy shorts these are definitely giving like bloomer a little bit I can't wait to wash and wear these because they just look so comfy these were $16.99 and so you have kind of like this mauvey pink color I guess an off-white cream color and then black if you guys have watched any of my other hauls, you know that I love a graphic tee. And so I saw this one. This was in the men's section, and it's just this Corona top. I'm not really into drinking that much. I just love the graphic, and I love the blue color. And another reason why I liked it is because this dark blue, I have biker shorts that will match well with it, so I can have a cute little blue fit. I got this in a size medium, and it was 10 bucks. So here's the shirt. I think it's super cute. And the whole idea of this was to wear to the gym, but honestly, I would wear this out, like, just as a little casual fit. I'm wearing jean shorts right now. I know you guys can't see, but I would wear this outfit out with some sneakers or whatever. But, yeah, I always find better graphic tees in the men's section. I don't know why. I feel like women's either never has graphic tees or they're just, like, you know, girl boss and, <laughs> like, whatever the saying. This is, like, a quote, usually. It's never any type of cute graphic so this i feel i got this the other day i hope okay i got it in red this i got this at tj i think or burlington i don't know but i'm pretty sure this is kind of like it's twin just in green it's this pretty dress it's like silky this was 19.99 and i got it in a size small so this is super cute i like the fit of it i probably would just loosen the straps i don't know why i just didn't do that now but i don't know i just didn't care to be bothered <laughs> i thought the slit was more on the side i'm gonna put you guys lower as always but it's kind of like right on the front of the knee which i like a lot more i think it makes it look a little sexy i'm happy i went with the small it does feel a little tight up in the chest but i like it fitted better like this than to be too baggy and not really give a shape the little thigh slit that I was talking about super cute and I like it so sad I can't believe I didn't realize this when I put this dress on you guys I still have the tags on like clearly someone wore this and put the tag back on somehow and they literally put a clothespin they did a great job because I didn't even notice until I was just about to hang it up what the hell i guess i should have realized something was weird with how this tag is like all wrinkly but oh my god that is definitely new i've never seen that happen before the next one i debated getting because this is a small and i know this is a small as well but this was looking a little too small so this one again was 20 dollars. this is jessica simpson's line but i don't know i want to make it work because i think it has the potential to be cute because it has like little side cutouts 
but I am nervous just about the fit. I don't know. The waist is pretty stretchy. I guess we just have to worry about everything else fitting. I would have loved this dress if Jessica was giving us some cleavage. I'm just so disappointed. Like, I wish they would have even left this, like, sewn and, like, cut this open. Because this, we need cleavage right here. I'm sorry. This just looks weird. It looks weird sewn like this. I don't know. Am I the only one that, like, feels that this looks weird? Like, it should be open or something? So, I'm just not in love with it. It is a little short in the back, too. It's nice, though, because there's a layer underneath, so it's not completely see-through. Just, like, the front part bothers me, and that's what everyone is going to see is the front of your dress. It does button in the back, but we're just going to ignore that. It does look kind of cute, though. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to watch this clip back when I'm editing, and then I'll write in the video clip if I'm keeping it or not. Because maybe it looks better on camera. You know, I'm just seeing my reflection in the mirror. I feel like the camera never, the camera never be lying to me. It'd be telling me the truth. Other than that, though, I think it's cute. The fit is nice. It's not, like, too tight. I was kind of worried, like, the arm or... Um, you know, like the back or chest would feel too tight, like it would rip. So this is another dress that I shared recently in a TJ Maxx haul. I got a different color of it, which it's this one right here. It's kind of like a burnt orange, dark orange, whatever. They had it in black, and I really liked how that looked the other day when I wore it. So I figured I would just get another version of it. So this one was $20 as well. And as long as it fits and looks like the other one, then I should like this. Okay, I know it's going to sound weird, but I don't like the black one. I thought black would be nicer because I feel like black just always gives that nice illusion of, like, the body bodying. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan of this one. I don't know what it is. It's kind of just giving a blanket. Yeah, it does go all the way down to my ankles, though, in case you guys wanted to know. <laughs> comfortable but flattering purposes i'm just not a fan of this one unfortunately pretty much everything i got are dresses so i have two more to go but i saw this one this was 12.99 and i think originally i had seen this one at tj maxx but they didn't have my size i just love the little tie detail on the side i thought it was really cute so i hope this one works out better every try on haul i do anymore i'm literally complaining this i feel like looked better in my head but maybe if it was more form fitting i would like it but this is going to be another one where either you guys gotta let me know or I'm gonna watch back and see if I like it. Maybe with the right shoes and like curly hair. Sorry, I'll be forgetting what the bottom half looks like. It's not too short. I don't know. I feel like it could look cute with some boots though. Actually, I got new boots, so maybe I'll try the boots with this. So this is the last clothing item I got and another dress, of course. This one was $20 and I like the color of it. Okay, this one's a little cuter. I'm liking it more. Why? Because I can give myself some cleavage. Honestly, the dress itself kind of lifts your boobs up on its own. I probably would add boob tape just to give the full effect. But I like this one more. The length is like kind of midi, so it's not completely down to my ankle. I feel like I needed something to make me feel better about the past couple of dresses. This one might be a yes. I don't know if you guys agree, but I like this one a lot more than what we were just dealing with. I don't ever shop like the beauty, hair, or anything like that section at any of the Burlington Marshalls, TJ. The only thing I buy sometimes from Burlington is my Ariana Grande like body spray, but other than that, I know there's an app where you can like scan the barcode and see like when makeup expired and stuff. But the last time I had bought makeup, it would wind up being used, and it was my fault. I guess I should have opened it before I left the store. But yeah, I don't know. I kind of just get grossed out by it, respectfully. And I know it can happen at any store, but I just get a little sus of it. I've had my beauty blender for I don't even know how many years. And I do wash my all of my beauty tools like once a week with Zote soap. But I noticed my sponge and a couple of my brushes I need to replace because it started getting that like you know, that dirty sponge type of smell. You guys know what I'm talking about. Listen, if you wash dishes, you know. So that's what I got here. I guess this is like a Zodiac version of it or something because it has all of the signs on the packaging. But this was 10 bucks. I figured whatever, like this can replace my one that I have. You may have noticed I straightened my hair finally. I haven't done this in a while. But in the past, when I have talked about straightening my hair or I've filmed doing it, I've always complained about this Tresemme hairspray, which I still have, that I use. It's basically a heat protectant, and I just hate the smell of it, but I don't like wasting stuff, so I'm like, whatever, I'll spray it, and 
once it's dried in your hair you don't smell it it's just like the application that i don't like i had seen this this is from chi and this is the barbie collab i guess that they did and this is just heat protectant spray it smells better than my tresemme one i figured it was time to try something new so i'm gonna try this out and i never buy candles but this one i just thought was so cute and it smells so good so this is a cherry cola soda candle the packaging is so cute it looks like a little soda can on top honestly it smells so good i never burn candles but like even if i don't burn this i just love the look of it i thought it was adorable and then the last thing i got are a pair of boots so i haven't bought new shoes in a while and i just saw these boots and i thought they'd be so cute and perfect for fall it's kind of like a sock boot in a way and it's this off-white cream beige color sort of pretty much only ever have black boots <laughs> i figured this could you know be nice to switch it up for whatever fall outfits i want to wear this is from the brand joy spelled j-o-i-e for the boots i think they're super cute and i honestly love the height of them i hate when i get boots thinking like i'm gonna be able to walk in them and then i'm like wait how much walking am i actually gonna do but these feel really comfortable feels nice so i'm excited for the fall and to wear these out so that's everything for this marshall's and home goods haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next time bye